Vlog! Everyone's here bright and early. Day game here in Savannah, Georgia. We're all ready. It's rehearsal time. It's time to dance. Let's get into it. Let go! Hey, jo hey Jordan wants to do a Tanner, uh, Tanner Tinder Thomas impersonation. What up, guys? It's your boy T here. And we about to play a game today. <laughs> oh, baby! Tanner Thomas! Party animals dog, baby! Tanner Thomas did not miss it! Ready, excited for 2024. It's rehearsal time. We're throwing rose petals on me today. We're dominating every aspect today. The dancing, dominating. We're throwing rose petals on Tanner Thomas today. I hope so. <laughs> Alright, fit check today. We got the all pinks and we cut the sleeves, baby. <laughs> VIB time, baby. Just hang on. We really don't have an official BP today, so decided to come in the cage, get some T-Work before the game. Day game! All right, time for the party animals entrance. Some would say that this is the best entrance in the world. Ever. Would you agree to that? I'd agree. He agrees, do you agree? Ever in the history of sports. Big. Do you agree? Dogs on top, I agree. Dogs on top. Best entrance in the pool. Yeah. So time out. Who would disagree? Woo! I don't know. Let's jump the fence. Let go. Let's do it. Day game, game yet. Oh. Go time. Oh. Woo. Oh.
Boys, gentlemen, boys and girls, and the taxi enthusiasts from around the world. Today, you and thousands of your friends here live and millions more watching at home have gathered here to witness something beyond your wildest imagination. From Montana to Savannah, from the Isle of Man to Tokyo, Japan, the Banana Maniacs come from across the globe to witness this. This is not baseball. This is the crucible where the Mascus, Hungries, and most entertaining players are forged. This is the game of the fans, by the fans, and for the fans. But this is not your granddad's pastime. This is not just another day at a ballpark. This game is baseball by birth. Sprint, he gets to the pitch later. No harm, no foul. Hampton's gonna score easily, and Jake's content with one base. All of hers in this ball game. And Misnick also having to make just a little bit of an adjustment. Went 0 for 3, hit to three double plays. This one under the glove of KJ Jackson. Could have started his day today with a double play. He knows his team has some room to work with up two runs here in the first. And it's Hampton with a little shot at redemption, and he will come up with... Been able to reach a handful of times, thanks to the ball for sprints, which is what he will draw right here. Oberst was off to the races. We'll see if he gets the wave around from Tyler Gillum, and he will. And it's Oberst coming around to score the second run of the inning for the Savannah Bananas. And I love that for you. That just makes me happy. Well, Travis Scott here for Niz and the fellas. What do you think Travis is saying there? Do you know, Josh? Mm. Oh, hold that thought. Base knock for Reese Hampton. 100 miles an hour off the bat, according to Trackman. Honest with you. This one poked the other way. Alexiades, well in front of the track, is going to tip it up and haul it in in his cap. They're batting close to 300 against him here in the month of September. And it's Alex Ziegler with a good poke out to right field to start the bottom of the two. Get Dalton Ponds out of the inning as this one is hit to A Cup, has trouble fielding it, and it's Danny Hosley who is going to beat it out at first base, and the Bananas grab the walk off. Right, we just got into the fourth inning. Bananas are up one to zero. A lot of ball game left, so let's do something cool and win a ball game. Let go. Ball time, dust off home plate. Looks pick and spam down there. And he's gonna. Shake his took us. Interesting. <laughs> it's early on in this ball game. We saw him take Noah Nisnik eight pitches. Now takes Kyle Lewis six pitches. And it was Ty Jackson moving in trying to field this one. 
and misplaying it as it hits over his glove and it winds up a triple for Jake Skull to start the top of the four. This one left side, Ty coming in, making the call, diving catch! Skull is halfway to home, so he can't tag. And Ty fired up. Sends this one deep out to right center. Brandon Crosby will bat it up, track it down in his hat, gets the trick play, was never going to have a chance to gun down Skoll, who tags and scores from third. And the party animals now have a chance to earn their first point in the fourth. Here comes Farty. Looks like there's a small city set up at home plate. Farty doing his best King Kong impersonation. Taking the little split plushie, crushing the buildings. Swatting away the planes. And now he's gonna dance. Here. That ball driven deep out to right. Crosby, great beat on it, is gonna barehand that. Wild pitch, here comes Dalton Malden, he's gonna score. Bananas double up the party animals in the fourth. And they double them up in the points department. They lead 2-0. The results in another point for the Bananas in this ball game. Thoughts out to Shark, a little family emergency today. Hope all is well there as Tanner pops that one through the right side. That ball blasted deep out to right. It's gonna be one hop off the wall. A shirtless Tanner Thomas is hustling around third. Porter cruises into second with an RBI double. The dugout all lined up along that third base line, giving Tanner Thomas the wave around to come and score. Fastball chopped to third, Jackson to second, Malden over to first, there it is. Tanners go around the horn for a twin killing. Two outs for Cowboy Kyle. Try and get him out of this frame with the animals only collecting one run as this one is skied. Ty Jackson towards that left field line will tip it to KJ Jackson who tips it to Ryan Cox. Ziggy not fooled as he bounces this one towards Acuff between the legs across the diamond smooth as silk. That ball lined into left, it'll get down. Tanner Thomas gets it in quickly. And keeps DR on third base. Well played by Tanner to on first base for Malachi as that's a line drive, base hit into left. Bill ties the inning. And as Swanee did there, and looks like a bullet in the box score. Nice job, Ryan Cox between the legs. Hi vlog, sixth inning. Jackson Olsen's doing a walk up. We are here in left field right now. Score is 2-0, Savannah Bananes. We got some work to do, let's make this ball game out here. Left field once again, and let's try and get a trick play while we're here, let's go. But thanks to coordinating producer Chad Reese, just now found out this song was specifically for the Hannah Montana movie. I'll tell y'all what, it might be like 87, 88 degrees, but it is steamy out here. Cut it when possible, and gets the K there. I'm the problem. Good. We got one down. One down. All right. Coach Rack's up now. Hey, hey, hey. Rodriguez is head off in Tampa the first time they ever faced each other. Jack. Oh. Base hit, Coach Rack. All right. Ryan Cox turn. Should be a little. A dancey dance this inning. He's kicking his feet. I mean, there is soul in this dance. On the 0-1. Split, and it's down and out. Good dance, very nice, very nice. The lineup, Rack was thinking about taking off. Hold still, it's gonna be a sprint. Party Animals need perfect defense to keep Rack from scoring. They do just that. All right, that was a ball for a sprint for Ryan Cox. We got first and third now, one out. All right, we got KJ Jackson up now. 
This one past the dive of Swan into right. KJ Jackson, his second career walk off. Uh, bananas in uh, walking off the six. Score is now three to zero. That's the word to do. Let's go. Tallest pitcher, Dakota Stilts. Oh, Breton. He's in. Well, now this is thrilling. Brett Helton is going to step in for Jordan Hussein. He was a two way guy at the University of Utah. That's Pac 12 baseball years of minor league baseball in the Pirates organization. Rear even had one or two way back in the 2022 summer series to leave the box. But now rolls this one over to Eric Jones Jr. Between the legs, high throw, Prime takes care of it. In left field today is Dan Oberst. We'll pop this one in shallow left. Tanner Thomas trying to collect this one behind his back will do so successfully. It's the party animal's left fielder coming up with his first trick play of the day. Fastball misses, and EJ has his 28th walk-off of the year as the Nanners increase their lead to four points. Tough to make Corel Prime unhappy. That guy just oozes positive vibes. Reese Hampton out to the fan wall. Great job by Alexiotis, gets it in quickly. Goal for the season lead. First pitch swinging chase, Acuff skied to left center. Meadows moseying over, is gonna knock it in the air, and Cruz has it, fires to third, not in time. Look, it's gonna be a tall task for DR to get to five trick plays in a ball game. He'll try and grab one more before this game is over. Another real struggle for Porter this season as Leroy takes a big swing out to left field. Tanner Thomas will watch this one sail over the fence, and Bill Leroy, for the fourth time in 2024, leaves the yard. It's another walk-off in this ball game for the Nanners. Powering blast from the king of Dublin, Georgia. A twin prince of Banana Land. All right, into the ninth inning now scores five to zero. I've seen crazier things happen with the party. Animals coming back right here. Five zero. A lot of work to do. Let's do something cool. Let's go. And we take a look at what it means to reach the final inning. Every run scored here in the ninth will count as a point. In on the hands, jams DC3. Trick play opportunity for DR Meadows, who's going to pop it up. Super Reese behind the back. Strike to Jason Swan. In stride, pours in another heater. This is going to be a tough play. Olsen, bare hand, flips it under the leg. Less than two and a half minutes, but he will miss inside to Reese Hampton, who it appears will only take one base on the ball for sprint, not trying to run into the final out of this ball game. Ripped, fair, down the right field line. Thomas comes through. Hampton missed second base, so he's going retreating back. Now Thomas is stuck in a pickle. Hampton has to take off. Prime flips it to Cox. Thomas is their primary target. Well, that looked like clear obstruction by Zach Phillips, so Tanner Thomas is going to get second base for free. Party Animals down to their final strike. Lined into left, Robert Anthony Cruz takes care of it. And the Nanners dominate on this Sunday afternoon. They take it 5 nothing. Final score here tonight, 5-0. Party almost did their best. Bananas played a heck of a game. Didn't go our way, but thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe. See you guys next week. Peace.